y'all why come i've been at yoga since then it's 11 o'clock bitch i got a boo-boo so motherfucking bad why i had to boo-boo when i first of all i got up early at seven something so i can make sure i took a nice little shit right why i get to yoga and start stretching and i feel something coming up my spine in the inside creeping bitch coming down i mean coming down I say, I know this ain't no motherfucking bad moment you're trying to move through a bitch. Mm -mm. I'm gonna need you to hold your mule. Hold your mule till we get done with this yoga. Bitch, as soon as we got done with yoga, you talking about somebody quickly got their shit together? I was <laughs> gathering my shit. Cause bitch, I got to go boo boo. I got to take a shit. I got to do it. Come on, people. Get out of my way. Just like okay this was the vibe i don't know what took me so long but uh i am here i'm here and i love it it make you feel like just good mentally physically emotionally spiritually i just feel in tune recalibrated you know i can't complain about that i was talking to one of my clients yesterday about feeling like at 30 and 40 that you don't wasted all your time, all your years, and that you just missed out on life. Baby, <laughs> 30 and 40 is still young. 50 and 60 and 70 too. Like, you know how many people just figuring shit out? By the time they get 30, 40, and 50, you can't, first of all, let, let, let's unpack this shit. 10 of them years, you a kid. What life? You living a second life for your parents because you got to do what the fuck they tell you to do so <laughs> 10 years gone boom I, I don't even understand why we don't come out as 20 because life don't really start until you're 20. anything under 20 you shouldn't be worried about living you really just existing i mean you living because you ain't got no care you ain't got no responsibilities you should just be chilling grooving right then you hit your 20s well, for some of us, by the time you get 16, 17, 18, you might be grown already, right? And the way society is today, baby, at 10, you're grown. So, for us that was growing up, you know, 90s kids, 80s kids, 70s kids, you really had a childhood. So, you really mad? Because you, you, you experienced living as a child, and you ain't... When you weren't making no money towards this life you want as an adult. Adulthood, it, I mean, come on, man. give yourself some grace. So you get to 10, then boom, 10 years later, you at 20. You really just getting the fuck about your parents' house for some of y'all. And, 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 and for the rest of y'all who's still there, I know you ain't fucking complaining. Sorry, my bad. But I said what I said. Okay. All right. So you get to 20. Your life don't really, really start until you're 30. Let, let's just be, let's keep it a buck. Because you're grinding all 20. Let's be clear. At least I was. Grinding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're grinding. So... The grind is this motherfucker still just don't want to let me be great. Like you scabbing, but go away. Um, yeah, so 20 comes, then you 10 years later, you at 30. For some of us, you still ain't got no kids. You probably didn't have your I purchased my first house when I was 26 and sold it by the time I was 30. So I'm not pressed. But no experience outside of the one that I'm cultivating for myself. Y'all gotta stop putting, and I ask people all the time, you behind based on who? Based on what? And people always like, I'm not comparing to nobody. You got to. 
You got to. If you say you you behind and you lacking and you 30, 40 years old and ain't got nothing accomplished because you should have had more done, based on... See, because we get confused also by circumstances. Somebody who got a lot of money and was born into wealth. Somebody who had to get it out the mud <clears throat> and get that shit they self did one fund it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, stop, comparisons are the, th are the thieves of joy. Stop doing that. Don't compare yourself to the next person. Because you don't know they struggle. You don't know they, they ease. You don't know how they got it. And they don't know about yours. But you know about you. And that's all you can really focus on. Don't focus on everybody else. The naysayers. It don't matter. Give yourself time and grace. Like, we get so caught up in, oh, I need to accomplish this. I need to do that. I need to da 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 Are you enjoying the space you're in? Have you ever enjoyed the space you were in in the moment? Because y'all be so quick to evolve. When you evolve, you still be shitty as fuck, sad, not feeling like this is where I need to be. I need more. Gluttony is is more than just food. Y'all got to release the greed, the need to, to feel accepted. Because that's really what that is. Y'all be killing yourselves for material shit. Y'all be killing yourselves to look a certain way. Don't you know when you get dressed up and you do all this other shit? Yeah, you could say, oh, that's for me, bitch. It's for her. It's for him. Because when you go outside, you want a compliment. You want to feel like you in the crowd. Bump all of that. Mm -mm. That's 30 and 40. Not giving a fuck about that shit. You want to talk about, oh, you getting old, you getting no, you getting wiser. You gaining wisdom to know what to give a fuck about and what not to. What to give your time and attention to and what not to. What is understood ain't got to be stated. For real, for real. In this day and age. Because, bitch, because they said so. The answer is no. That's the sentence, period, dot com. <laughs> 30 is great. I can imagine that it gets better. Long as you practicing a healthy regimen, this shit should be cup of steady. At least that's what I think. But, yeah. Let me go shit, because I don't talk to y'all enough. I done made it home, bitch. <laughs> Bye.